He's done the best sector that we've seen in sector one. Here he is on screen. And it gets away from oh. him in the rear badly. That means that it'll be an aborted lap. And in fact, it's a spin. When was the last time that you saw a wind cup spin in armor all qualifying? Well, I can't remember one. Can you? No. That started early. I think it might have stalled. So that, that's for position there, Neil. So that was Scotty Pye. That car's so damaged that you can't... I reckon he's hit the back of that car on the way out of the pit just then. So that was already damaged. It's hit harder in pit lane. And that's then put, forced that all back onto the wheel. Well, it looked secondhand when we took a shot of it in the lane. It looked even worse after this. Well, that's the first bit. That's the first bit. So that's where the damage was that you picked up on immediately, but it gets worse. So Tanda was re-entering. Hopefully we'll catch this at some stage, but it's, pre it's pretty bad. Yeah, look at it. You don't have to come in. That's uh, close, that is a lot of damage. Close right there. Was massive. massive, wasn't it? Yeah. So sorry, I was getting back to the position because Scott Pye, bang. Twice. Over Mostert, one of the Red Bull cars running very wide through turn one. Macaulay Jones turned around, and there's another car involved, and that is Thomas Randall. So Jones and Randall pointing in the wrong direction at turn one. The order is McLaughlin, Mostert, Deep Pasquale, and Winterbottom. Heimgartner did a beautiful job. He's up to fifth. That was a great opening stanza into that little chicane at turn one and two. And look at this is on for young and old down into turn six. Is there contact? Yes, there is, and Davison's around. There's going to be other cars. Simona's in it. Hazelwood's in it. That was a lazy contact there with Rick Kelly. The bonnet's now up on Hazelwood's car. Huge damage to the front of that car and Simona's. As you can see, Simona now off the road. He's starting to search high and low and looking for a way round here on McLaughlin. And McLaughlin might have to cover, and he does. He moves it to the right, and Wind Cup goes down the inside. This is going to be tight. They force the issue. There's Gone. contact. They're both off the road. So McLaughlin and Wind Cup have made contact, and that will reveal Van Gisbergen in the lead. And McLaughlin's now in the midfield or beyond. That's a game changer in the championship. So we've got Van Gisberg and Mostert, Di Pasquale, one, two, and three. They didn't get to the end of the lap. I caught it too soon, but a clean start. It didn't happen. That is a huge moment in the 2020 championship. McLaughlin tried to do to Mostert what Van Gisberg did to McLaughlin. This is an awkward place to be on the outside when you go down here to the kink. Oh, here's he comes going high down there and almost oh. side by side action. They're three wide into turn six and Andre locks up and runs wide. Waters gets into the party here as well. Nobody saw Heimgartner coming then. Two positions for Heimgartner in the one spot. Great driving. That was really good situational awareness. He knew that Scott had run slightly wide. It couldn't get back immediately to the inside. He said, I'll have a go at that. Bang, down the inside. Great job. That is a very ordinary position when you've got that double left-hander and you're on the outside, but he got away with it nicely done. In fact, David was quite nice to him. How's that? heimgarten has got down the inside. Oh, he has not got down the inside of Shane Van Gisberg, and I thought it was done. He ended, and there's more trouble on the exit. Courtney's in strife. Winterbottom's in yeah, strife. Right, How did James the sneak across the front of everybody and not get T-boned? Unbelievable.
right. You'll have to try to unravel this for you, folks, Ooh. because that's a lot of damage to Mark Winterbottom's car. We saw him in the dirt three Twice. times. Or, no, sorry, that's the third time, yes. wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's having a look, oh. trying to capitalise, and James. big ski off the road for James Courtney. That was a big moment. That's the first time we've seen somebody off down there. That's over 210 kilometres an hour when the cars fire through turn five. So the word in our ears as we pick up with James once again as it was another airbox fire there at Tickford. Here we are with James rattling away down the inside of Fabian. This will do it. Seriously. This will do it. This will do it. Too wide at turn five. Turns you into a motocross rider. And he's still... He had his foot in the bucket and he grabbed a gear. <laughs> but yeehaw! <laughs> you said earlier, you can't get two cars through there. That's right. Yep. <laughs> I rest my case. Hey, and just start to conjure up what this looks like for Cam Waters, Crompo, because he gets Will Davison with him at Bathurst. They are an A-plus combo. Great job, Cam. Out of the second last corner, wags the tail ever so slightly. He moved up a spot in the championship at the last round. And this time, Cam Waters supreme in the final race at Taylor Bend and delivers on the recent promise. Thank you so much. Thank you so Great much. Great drive. Boy. Beautiful work. Scott McLaughlin in second is our 2020 yeah, champion Great elect. Job. You guys really earned this. Good job. <laughs> Am I allowed to do burnout? I want to do a burnout. <laughs> Jamie Wincup gets home on the podium in third position and there is McLaughlin. Big moment for the Shell V Power Racing team. Bigger moment for the Monster Energy team and everybody at Tickford.